easy instructions on how to make your Word 2016 files ready for Section 508 compliant PDF output. This video will guide you in creating an accessible Word file, which will save you time, money, and help you comply with the law. Before we get started today with our how-to video, there are a couple of things you should know. First, you have to have the full version of Adobe Acrobat in order to create accessible PDF files from your Word document. In this video, we will be using Word 2016 on a PC, so things might be slightly different if you're using an earlier version of Word or if you're working on a Mac. In this video, we'll go over general tips on how to prepare your Word document to become an ADA accessible Section 508 compliant PDF. So you may be wondering, why do I need to make my Word documents and PDFs ADA accessible and Section 508 compliant? The answer is simple. Any organization that receives money from the federal government must make technology and electronic files accessible for people with disabilities. So that includes federal agencies, state, county, and city agencies and offices, schools, hospitals, and other organizations that receive federal funds. Nearly one in five Americans live with some kind of disability. And as we become more dependent on the web for access to information, the demand for accessible versions of the documents you and I use every day on the internet is growing at a very rapid rate. When you make your documents accessible, you're not only complying with the federal laws that say you have to, you're also creating documents that can reach a much broader audience. So what makes a document ADA accessible? It's simpler than you think. Hidden accessibility markers, called tags, are used by assistive technology, like screen readers, to navigate the document and its structure. And if you set up your Word document from the start using the instructions that I'm gonna go over in this video, once you create your accessible Word file, it's faster and easier to make the PDF version of that same Word document accessible after you export it. Some of the work you did in Word carries over. You don't have to start all over again. First, start by creating a clear visual hierarchy in your document using the styles Word already has built in. Use styles like headings, subheadings, and paragraph style to give your document structure a reading order that's easy to follow. Check that your document headers are in the correct logical order. For example, heading one should come before heading two, not the other way around. Work intuitively on this. The more intuitive your reading order is, the easier it will be for the reader and assistive technologies to access the information in your document. Make sure to use paragraph spacing between paragraphs. Don't just hit the enter key. By doing this, you prevent unnecessary tags in your PDF file. Use the bullets button located in the home tab to create your bulleted lists. This will automatically create the correct bullet tags required for accessibility. Does your document contain tables? If so, check that they don't have any split cells, merge cells, or empty cells. These are no good. Accessibility readers have a difficult time following tables with edited cells like this. Another important thing to keep in mind is that some of your readers may be colorblind. Colorblindness can prevent people from seeing color elements in your document in the same way you do, if at all. If you want to add emphasis to something in your document, try using color in addition to other text enhancements. For example, use bold, italic, or underline for links to reinforce the emphasis. Also important to increase readability for those who are colorblind, and for readability in general, is to create contrast between the background color of the document and the text. Avoid using white text if you can. This is because white text placed on a dark colored background is much harder to read than dark text on a light colored background. The next step is to add alternative text, also known as alt text, to any images, links, and tables in your document. Alt text helps people who can't see the screen to get any important information included in your document's images, links, and tables. Often, this information is read to them. To add alt text to an image, right click on the image and select Format Picture. From here, select Layout and Properties, then insert your alt text. Link alt text needs to clearly tell the reader where that link will take them online. To add alt text to your links, first select the text that needs to become a link. Then right click and select Hyperlink, followed by Screen Tip to add your alt text. To add alt text to tables, right click on the table and select Table Properties. Then select the Alt Text tab and add your descriptive alt text. Another key step in making your document accessible is adding a title to your document. Adding a title will tell the reader which document is being read to them by the screen reader. You can do this by going to Properties and then selecting the Summary tab. Once you've completed all of these steps and before you export your document to a PDF, you can check your document for accessibility by using Word Accessibility Checker. 
This checker provides a report with any errors, warnings, and accessibility tips for your Word document more generally. To run an accessibility check in Word 2016, click on the Review tab, then click on Check Accessibility. Now keep in mind, while this tool is great for giving you a description on any errors it can find, it's important to note that it doesn't pick up every mistake, so use it as a general guide. After you've fixed any errors that the Word Accessibility Checker may have caught, export to PDF using the Acrobat tab. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you must have the full version of Adobe Acrobat in order to export your file. After you reach the Acrobat tab, click on Preferences and make sure to have the Tags option checked on. So now that your Word document has been converted into a PDF, you'll have to make a few adjustments to make it fully ADA accessible. Again, you'll need the full version of Adobe Acrobat to do this. Start by going to the Tools panel and clicking on Accessibility. Here, you can run a full accessibility check to see if there are any errors in your PDF. Common errors that could come up are color contrast, tab order, and logical reading order. These errors are usually okay and can be manually checked and passed by you. Another error that might come up is the title. If you've added a title to your Word file correctly, you can right click and select Fix, and your PDF title will change to the correct title. If you're using tables, it's possible that a summary error will appear during the check too. If this happens, check to make sure that you haven't forgotten to add the table's alt text summary. But if you have, it's okay. This can be easily fixed by going into the order panel on the left. Click on the show reading order panel and right click on the table. Select edit table summary and you can reinsert your alt text for the table. You can fix other errors by using the order, content, accessibility checker, and tags panels in your navigation panes. Remember to run the accessibility full check every time you correct errors to make sure they've been fixed properly. When the accessibility full check comes back with no errors, congratulations! That wasn't so bad, right? Now you have a fully accessible PDF document. For more information on accessibility, please visit transcend.net.